Now imagine the shock you'd feel if you got a $750 parking ticket. It's a reality for one truck driver who decided to spend a night in a parking lot in South Suburban Dixmore. CBS News Charlie Damar found out it was no mistake, but something still doesn't add up. Then I looked at it, $750, you know, uh, that's a pretty expensive motel. Robert and Kenny has been a trucker for over two decades. He lives in Ohio, but a recent route brought him to suburban Dixmore on April 1st. April fool on me. Turned out to be the most expensive stop of his career. Tin Canny was done driving for the night and the nearby designated truck parking lots were full, so he parked in this lot. But when he woke up the next morning, there was a ticket slapped on his truck. Where'd you find it? Stuck to the window. The ticket was for $750. He admits to parking illegally, the only signage was on the other side of the lot, and Tim Canny says he didn't see it. Online, the Dixmore Municipal Code for trucks parked illegally is $100, but police say the code posted on its own village website is outdated. They sent the new code and trucks prohibited on certain streets does come with a hefty $750 fine. The same violation in Chicago is only $125. Rosemont is $350. Calumet City also hands truckers $750 fines. Since Tim Kenny wasn't parked on a street, he argues that the ordinance doesn't apply to him or that $750 fine. But police in Dixmore say that Tim Kenny used roads that trucks aren't allowed to travel on to get to the lot and therefore he was ticketed correctly. It, that's a hard blow. In 2020, we met truck driver Steve Martin. He was also stunned after receiving a $750 ticket while driving through Dixmore on a street tractor trailers aren't allowed. I think it's unethical. As for Tin Canny's ticket, his boss paid it, but he wants others to be aware when traveling through the South Suburban Village. I'm a truck driver. Everybody assumes truck drivers are wealthy. It's not the case. We're not wealthy. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.